So a peel is a plant-based preservative coating that has been put on fruit and vegetables. Um, it is actually made with monoglycerides and diglycerides, which are supposedly edible compounds that are regarded by um, the FDA as generally regarded as safe. Um, so these, this product is distributed as a powder. Companies will mix it up with water and then it will be applied to fruit and vegetables. Um, the coating will stick on. It isn't really washable off. Um, and it is odorless, colorless, and tasteless. Um, it just sticks on the, the product. Glad to know apparently that it is non-GMO. doesn't have any nuts. It's vegan friendly. Um, and it is being marketed as uh, keeping food fresh longer so that we will have less waste. Now, the interesting thing in the FAQs is when they were asked, um, oh, here we have it. So here is um, a diagram or graphic where you have uh, an avocado that is without the peel and with the peel and starting at one day. Um, you can see they all look the same, three days, nine days, and as we go on up to 20, 30 days, the avocado that has a peel kind of looks like, you know, it's not rotting at all. Um, but the actual literature says that it really only lasts two to three days uh, freshness, so I'm not sure why with this graphic it's looking as though the avocado is, is not rotting at all. Um, I assume that perhaps it's rotting on the inside. So this is all being put on all sorts of projects like avocados, cucumbers, limes, mandarins, oranges, and organic apples, lemons, grapefruit, and mangoes in order to extend their shelf life. I assume also for, for shipping reasons. Um, but one of the most interesting things too about all of this um, in the FAQs is when asked the question, where is that? Ask the question, um, this is what I love here, is appeal a chemical? Now, what the company says is, to learn more about what appeal is made of, Click here to learn from one of our co-founders, Jenny Dew. Um, lucky enough, we know have Jenny explaining to you. Oxygen flowing in, nitrogen flowing in, carbon dioxide flowing out. Everything around us is chemicals. You and I are all made of chemicals. In fact, even more amazingly, we are all made of star stuff. <laughs> All of the elements today that surround us, the fundamental individual units, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, those all come together in order to form chemicals, different combinations of those elements. And now we can look around us and see this diverse and really beautiful library of chemicals that can serve us as tools to draw inspiration for solutions to borrow from in order to work with nature rather than against nature in order to solve some of our most pressing problems. For us at Appeal, the way that we work with nature is to look to plant-based materials as a source of edible ingredients used by plants for how they protect themselves today, apply those onto the surface of fresh fruits and vegetables to reinforce the existing and natural peel in order to extend shelf life to give us more time to enjoy the fresh fruits and vegetables that we've spent so much of our time, energy, and resources to grow, to, sh to harvest, to ship, store, and ultimately bring into our homes. For us to reduce the waste that's inherent along this perishable and seasonal supply chain in order to ultimately reduce waste and chemical, but you know, we're all made of chemicals, so that's all good. Um, anyway, I've got 
an article on uncensored wisdom regarding meat and food and all that sort of thing if you want to go check that out um, but I thought it was interesting how they're putting this plant-based um, preservative and it's, it looks like um, they're going to roll it out as a billion dollar industry and put it across a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables even organic.